And you saw the Cardinals using their 10th different offensive line today. Rippin. Sideline caught by Dulcich. Sometimes discretion the better part of Valor. Take the underneath throws. There's room to run for Rippin. He can't get far. Brought down as he crossed the 35 and landed at the 33. Brandon McManus from 52 yards away and got it. A chance for this outstanding Denver defense on third and six. Looked like somebody jumped from the Cardinals. Pass for Hopkins is incomplete and it's fourth down. Have to have a capable backup in the National Football League. After a four-yard pickup, it's Murray again, and Latavius Murray with the plan coming into the game. Mac, like a Mac truck, gets inside the 45. He's come in as Marlon Mack remains the back. On first down, Rippin. Oh, he's smothered by J.J. Watt. Blitz came from one side, but Watson from the other. Seven and a half sacks this season. Cannot leave him free in a situation like that. Rippin to Marlon Mack. Screen set up. And he'll get down to around the 40 for J.J. Watt. He gave the impassioned speech Cliff Kingsbury told us last night prior to this game. Rippin in trouble again and he's going to go down. This time Tristan Hill got to him around midfield. Blitz is picked up. McCoy, high, and it's intercepted! Taken away at the 40 by Justin Simmons! Simmons down to the 25-yard line, his fourth interception of the season. One of the great team leaders on this team. The other way to Marlon Mack. And he'll be brought down at the 20, and it'll be fourth down. Good. On a second and ten, it's got to come out quick, and it does. Run right away at the 33-yard line. But out since week four, back after the knee injury, knee surgery. The boy from the pocket, middle of the field, and goes to the sideline. Always in the right place and in the right gaps. The boy looks one way, comes back the other way. It's McBride again. Third and six, McCoy on the move, heaves it in the end zone and through the back of the end zone. This will be a 45-yarder, same direction McManus missed from 38. But Prater gave him a three-yard loss, pressure again, and here's a sack at the 15-yard line. J.J. Watt with two today. Being professional and a, what a privilege it is to play in this league. As Murray carries, sheds one tackle. Blocker and then make the play. Yeah, that's fine. I just like hitting people. McCoy has time, goes underneath. Brown just short. Neither team has really been close to getting a touchdown. And Murray slips through. Latavius Murray. Divine Azigbo is in it running back. Fake to him. Rippin is in trouble. And the fifth sack of the game for this Cardinal defense. Marcus Golden has this one. He's in halftime. Coming up in a moment. Rippin on the run and throwing on the run and caught short of the first down. We're tied at three. McCoy in the middle will go down. Not quick enough to get out of there. Baron Browning. Moving all the way to the other. A moment for Rippin. Sideline throw right on target for a first down to Jerry Judy. Against the Carolina Panthers. On a first down, Rippin. And the ball's out. That is a fumbled football. And it looks like, are they ruling it? That's a recovery by MyJ Sanders. He's saying he isn't down. Let's see how the officials rule this. It's a fumble and a cardinal recovery, but they're going to call him down. James Conner runs down to the 32-yard line. The kick is up there. It's out there. And through there. Slips through on the right side of the upright.
working hard to become a starter and lead this Denver defense in tackles. McCoy took a while. A one-hand <laughs> juggling catch by Max Williams. 8 of 14 with an interception. And he'll throw on the move. That completes for a first down. He wants to try and exploit. Connor bounces off his own man, and James Connor is going to get a first down. An opportunity to cut that one back. Without a huddle, McSorley somehow gets back to the 40. They Keeps McSorley sliding. The kick from 55 away is right through. Already Denver had 23 players on injured reserve during the course of the year. 16 currently. Arizona right behind him. Murray is loose. Latavius Murray inside the 45 of the Cardinals. Quick toss. Judy inside the 40. Marlon Mack is in. Fake to him. Pressure coming. Open at the 20. Stumbling. Tomlinson inside the five. First and goal Broncos. Christian Matthew is back in at the corner spot for Arizona. Marlon Mack is into the end zone and that's a Bronco touchdown. McSorley dumps it off to James Conner. Three Broncos are there. Well played by the defense. It changed with the Murray injury to the veteran McCoy and now with his third string quarterback. Meanwhile, Rippon is going to be sacked at the 30-yard line. In a situation like this, because you know the quarterback doesn't have to deal with crowd noise. Rippon rips it. Completion. Taking their time getting up to the line of the scrimmage. Bleeding some clock. Rippon shovels it off to Marlon Mack when he was almost sacked, and he's got a first down. Picked up eight, and the first time for Rippon for the end zone, and that is intercepted. Buda Baker, they go way back to high school in Washington. Rippon called him the Wolverine because he's everywhere. And try something conservative here. Don't want to get too risky. All the way backed up. McSorley deep and overthrows everybody. His 13th career 100-yard game. Pass is complete. Brandon Johnson holding the position, so they should have shut down the play, and there should not have been a penalty or a first down. All right, thank you, Mike. That's Freddie Swain, who is... Thank Mike Pereira. I'd like, yeah, I'd like to talk about a few plays in this game, and there were quite a few yesterday. Marlon Mack turns the corner. What a run for Mack. The ground game is rolling here. The former Indianapolis Colt. Murray to the goal line for a touchdown. Latavius Murray. No, he won't. Simmons inside the 10. Flag down back at the 23-yard line. Murray scored on one to the left. They just went to the right that time. Rippon for the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos! Eric Tomlinson! Game's going on right now as we have a 24-9 game under nine to play. McSorley open, and that's Trey McBride who's still going. What an effort from the Colorado State rookie. Connor has it. Is looking for some help. What a cutback from James Connor. Gets a block downfield to get inside the 30 and pick up a first down. That's Torch out of the backfield. Throwing Hopkins. Hops to it at the 10-yard line and hauls it in. 
Deontay Ingram, the rookie, is in the backfield. Direct snap to Connor. And Connor pounds his way inside the two. James Connor, touchdown, Cardinals. A bounce back drive for Arizona. With the play clock running down, they better use it. They get the snap away, throws for the conversion, and there, is there no, there's got to be. There's got to be a flag on that yeah. one. I mean, it looked like Jackson was all over him, doesn't get his head around. And whoever does reviews on officials, write that one up. From the 25, Jerry Judy. Cardinals would need a, a stop. Meanwhile, Murray with the first down. And they're chewing up the clock. A little hesitation from Murray, and he's going to pick up another eight. It's fine opportunities downfield. They really started to get going. Be interesting to see what this offense looks like a week from now. What happened with Russell Wilson going into the protocol? That's what's going to happen this week with Colt McCoy. McSorley throws. And intercepted. He was looking for Hopkins and Sertan. His second of the season. Back-to-back -back weeks. The pick. And this loss will eliminate the Arizona Cardinals from any faint playoff hopes.